Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be looking at this model here. So this is something that was created using FreeCAD to replace a toy part that a friend had. We come across this problem and you can see around here we've got this tessellation that goes around here and this is a deviation that's happening from the underlying model. And it's a display issue. It's not anything to do with the actual export. We can actually export this out as a model without this issue. So we go over to the mesh design and we select our revolution, go to file, export. And I'll save that. And while still in the mesh design, we'll just hide that revolution and go file, import and we'll import the revolution you can see we haven't got any deviation on here at all so this is totally a display issue so what's actually happening well it's all to do with a certain setting so we zoom in we can see how jagged these edges are if we go up to the edit preferences and it's under the part design, so this actually affects both the part design as well as the part workbench. Go out to shape view, we've got this maximum deviation depending on the model boundary box. This is normally set to something like 0.5. If we lower this 0.1 and apply that, okay, you can see straight away it's cleaned up the model. Obviously we can go lower. The lowest option in here is if we go back to the setting part design shape view is all the way down to basically 0.001 on there but we have to be wary of the processor power that this takes up so this is just for displaying our models if we look at models that are created with something like link stage three, you'll notice how clean the output is on screen. And this could be to do with this deviation here. So to get nice clean output, all we have to do is change that setting. It's a setting that's overlooked quite a lot of the time. Also, if you notice, if we zoom in, we've got much cleaner curves. So before it was jagged, almost like hexagon-like. Now I've got a much cleaner curves going around here. It's also worth noting that this can be done on an object basis. So we can actually do it on the body and leave other bodies in our document unchanged. So click on the body, come over to the view and we'll come down to the object style. We've got the deviation here and we can click on that and set this to something like 0.1. We can see that changes straight away. So this is now curved and this angular and our artifacts have disappeared. So there's a little tip. If you're coming across that problem and you want a much cleaner output, then just go up to the edit preferences, jump over to the part design workbench preferences there and go to the shape view and change that maximum deviation depending on the model boundary box. So I hope that's helped and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.